And just so you know, Rainier Beach Vikings, if we could have your attention up here at the front, this is a historic moment here. Staff, students, Vikings, we are joined here today by representatives from Seattle Public Schools and the planning and construction teams that work to make this, this whole project happen. This historic project that we've heard about in the assembly. So here today we have Rainier Beach High School legacy basketball coach Coach Pathea, if we could give a round of applause. We also have Rainier Beach High School alumni and student advocates that were at the school board meetings advocating for the school. Yen, Rosario, and Naj Ali, if we could give them a round of applause, our alumni. And we can't forget about Alam, our other alumni. They're the crew that helped to make this happen, and alumni, and doing great work at their universities, and soon to transition into career pathways. So round of applause for that, alumni. We've got our legacy advocate, former school board president, Ms. Betty Patu, who we heard from earlier. Round of applause for her. We have my mentor, who I look up to in terms of leadership, our superintendent, Mr. Brent Jones. Dr. Mr. Reverend Brent Jones. <laughs> my mentor. We have Capital Projects and Planning Director, Mr. Richard Best. We have Bassetti Architects, Principal Architect, Jordan Keel. We have Moody Nolan's Architect, Principal Architect, Earl Lee, which by the way, is the largest black owned architectural firm in the country here. Round of applause for Mr. Earl Lee. We also have Parametrics Project Manager. We meet every Friday morning. Paul Popovich. We have Lydic Project Manager and an excellent golfer I hear, uh, Mr. Patrick McLaughlin here. And very soon, you will see the mayor of Seattle, Mr. Bruce Harrell, who is coming all the way across town to come join us here. So round of applause for the mayor now. And round of applause uh, when we see him arrive. With that being said, I want to introduce, we have Miss. Rita Green, who we heard from, strong advocate for Rainier Beach and making this happen, specifically our IB program. It's Rita Green. <laughs> An alumni from the class of 2000 and <laughs> the class of 1980, Miss uh, Rita Green here. <laughs> and we also have 
a Franklin graduate who I just happened to see while I was playing tennis at Sewer Park. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> yep, our uh, county councilman, uh, Germay. Round of applause. We got some heavy hitters in the building. Oh, you saw these people behind me? These are heavy hitters right here. For our community and for you, and you all could be them one day, and we need you to be them one day in terms of continuing to lead the community in this work. With that being said, mm -hmm. with that being said, I am going to transition um, to another introduction of our District 7 School Board Director, President, President of our School Board, Mr. Brandon Hersey. Thank you, Principal Brooks. And let me just say that I am so excited to be here because this is a critical step. I am so proud of the work that Rainier, the Rainier Beach community has uh, put into arriving at this moment. I would be remiss if I did not recognize a couple of my personal mentors, former school board president and District 7 director, Miss Betty Patu and Rita Green. They have definitely shown me what power can come from when leadership actually responds and listens to community and advocacy, this is really what we can count on in terms of ensuring that y'all have the educational environments that you need to thrive, survive, and to be successful in whatever it is you want to do in life. I look forward to this new school, and one of the things that I am really proud to say is that this is going to be one of the first projects in Seattle Public Schools that is going to benefit from the Student Community Workforce Agreement that was reached between labor and the Seattle Public Schools District. Let me tell you what that means. That means that all of the tax dollars that are going in to build this beautiful new building, there is going to be an opportunity for students, their families, and members of this community right here in Rainier Beach to get good union paying jobs that are incredibly important during the economic crisis that our country are in. And we wanna make sure that we are not just filling your minds, but we are also doing everything we can to fill the pockets of you and your families, because we believe that when you invest in community, not only in the forms of buildings, but also in financial and economic liberation, that great things are possible. So I just wanna say again, thank you to everybody who made this moment possible. And I am going to go ahead and pass it over to another one of my mentors, the person who really honestly needs no introduction, the Honorable Dr. Superintendent Brent Jones. I can't, re I can't agree more with uh, President Hersey, what he said around how the importance of this project. Um, and I just want to just uh, express gratitude to all of you who have come together to make this project happen. Uh, we know that this just didn't happen overnight. We know that this has been many years of advocacy, of heavy lifting, of showing up at board meetings, of showing up in council meetings, of showing up in places to really make sure that this endeavor is going to be manifested. So I, I just really appreciate everyone involved. Uh, I, I want to give a special shout out to uh, one of the first ladies of Rainier Beach, uh, Miss Betty Patu. Uh, who has been on the forefront of this. I'd like to also just thank all of the people, uh, Rainier Beach graduates and alums who have been advocating for this project as we go forward. So in order to do this, we rely on uh, voter approved funds. And one of the voter approved funds is called the Building Excellence Fund. And this is also known as the Bex Levy. So the city of Seattle, the residents of Seattle, have paid tax money to make sure that this happens. And so this isn't just a Rainier Beach community project. This is a citywide project that our city can be proud of uh, moving forward. So, uh, so together we are making this happen. This is a, a, a proud moment for us to really show uh, our city what it's like to have a, a green building, a building that's innovated, a building that is really gonna be one of the beacons of uh, pride for us for this city. So I just like to encourage our students to be invested 
in understanding the process for how we got here, how the, how the wheels of, of power turn, how politics work. So if you have, a, if anybody's out there that's doing a civics class, uh, teachers, give, give your students an opportunity to kind of understand how, how, this, how this worked out because you all as students uh, are going to be the ones who are gonna be the beneficiaries of this. You all will be leaders going forward in, in these type of endeavors. And so again, I just wanna say thank you to everyone involved with uh, this project. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're gonna turn some dirt. Thank you very much. So we're all gonna... So let's go and uh, grab shovels and we're going to uh, do some uh, dirt turning right here. Thank <laughs> you.